Terminator Dark Fate has screened for critics, and while the franchise has left them in the cold in recent years, it looks like the trend is about to be reversed. I'm back. A good deal of the reviewers who took in the film are comparing it favorably to Terminator 2 Judgment Day, and many also agree that the film will make a star out of Mackenzie Davis. Linda Hamilton's return to the role of Sarah Connor was welcomed, and the flick's intriguing story and slam-bang action sequences were also singled out for praise. Having said that, we're cautiously optimistic that the initial reactions to Terminator Dark Fate will hold up, because the flick comes with a pretty darn sterling pedigree. It functions as a direct sequel to T2, ignoring all of the increasing ridiculous sequels that followed that film. Talk to the hand. It also marks James Cameron's return to the franchise as a producer, and it was helmed by Tim Miller, the man who brought us a piece of pure cinematic joy that was 2016's Deadpool. Gabriel Luna has been well known among Marvel circles since his inspired performance as Ghost Rider in Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and fans are no doubt excited that he plays a souped-up Terminator in this movie. So what do the critics have to say about it? For starters, the folks at Collider were roundly blown away by the flick. Editor-in-chief Steven Weintraub was among the many praising the performance of Davis, who stars as a cyborg sent back in time to protect a new mother of the future, portrayed by Natalia Reyes. Weintraub enjoyed the trifecta offered by Davis, Reyes, and Hamilton. He wrote, Terminator Dark Fate is easily the best Terminator movie since T2, has some fantastic action, and loved how the film features three female protagonists that all kick ass. So awesome seeing Linda Hamilton back as Sarah Connor. In a follow-up tweet, Weintraub had a word of recommendation for those unfamiliar with Davis' work, writing, I've been a fan of Mackenzie Davis since seeing her in Halt and Catch Fire, but she takes it to another level in Dark Fate, where she kicks all kinds of ass. If you like her work in Dark Fate, go Go back and watch Holt and Catch Fire. Collider editor Perry Namirov seemed a touch surprised to be penning such a positive response, saying, Is Terminator Dark Fate the best since T2? Yup. Linda Hamilton's return makes a big difference. Mackenzie Davis kicks all the ass, and Natalia Reyes is an excellent anchor. Gabrielle Luna's Rev 9 is a winner too. Physicality, VFX, fights, all spot on. Glad they gave this another go. Their colleague, horror editor Haley Fouch, offered a similar opinion. It's solid, super well articulated action. Linda Hamilton is aces. Easily the best sequel since T2. Dark Fate takes The Force Awakens, if it ain't broke, don't fix it mentality, to Cameron's films, and turns out it ain't broke. Ms. Fouch was not the only observer to notice an aesthetic similarity between Dark Fate and the movie that washed the bad taste of the Star Wars prequels out of the mouths of fans. Gizmodo Entertainment reporter Jermaine Lucia wrote, The movie is basically Terminator The Force Awakens, a satisfying, exciting reboot that's essentially the best parts of T1 and T2 in a blender. Davis, Reyes, and Hamilton are excellent. The action wows, and while it's familiar, it's easily the best T3 yet. Terminator is back. Slash film owner editor Peter Scaretta also drew the comparison, although he did make sure to point out that Miller is, well, no Cameron. Dark Fate is better than you think it's going to be. It's trying hard to be the Force Awakens of Terminator movies and mostly succeeds, but it's lacking Cameron's innovation, evolution, and directing. Arnold is fantastic, the best of his post-T2 Terminator appearances. Scaretta wasn't the only to sing praises of Arnie, who has certainly caught his share of flack for continuing to show up in the Terminator franchise well into his golden years. Of course, there was also plenty of praise to go around for Hamilton, who apparently had no trouble slipping back into the skin of a most famous character. A Brock senior entertainment writer, Mike Ryan, said, I was skeptical of Dark Fate, thought the trailers were not great, but I would up enjoying it quite a bit. And the difference maker versus the other post T2 sequels is Linda Hamilton. It's always been her story, and Hamilton adds the needed weight here. Screen Crush editor in chief Matt Singer agreed wholeheartedly Terminator is thought of as Arnold's franchise. Dark Fate makes it clear he wasn't the key ingredient that made it work. It was Linda Hamilton. She's incredible in this, and the movie's very solid. All in all, it was a pretty amazing outpouring of love for a sequel that nobody was sure would work, and it seems to have accomplished the impossible in making some critics actually look forward to more Terminator movies. These initial reactions certainly seem to confirm that Terminator Dark Fate may finally, at long last, be a Terminator movie that doesn't come out of the gate, having to justify its existence. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.